morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday. Anna is in town for like 36 hours, so we did a really early morning podcast between 7.30 and 9 this morning, so that was really fun to catch up with her and get a podcast out finally. But I figured I would take you guys through a full Thursday in my life. I haven't really done one of these full day in the lives not working. So I don't work on Thursdays, so I'll take you through what I do on my day off. Today's my YouTube day, editing, I get a lot done. So it's gonna be fun. What's this package? So I normally eat breakfast around nine. I don't really get hungry until nine, so I just had my eggs and toast. We got this package last night. I think it's Vinny's food. Look how big this is, Vinny. This is the cat food that she's obsessed with. It's super healthy. It's by instinct, this bag was $80, so. We are feeding her the best of the best and she actually loves it, so that's really good. I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point we thought that our refrigerator was broken because there was a really bad smell coming from this area. So we took apart like the fridge, we took it out and everything, nothing to be found. And then we realized it was actually just her cat food because at the time we were putting her cat food here because I don't know what it is about natural cat food, but it smells like crap. Crapola. Yes, that's for you. That's for you. I thought it, I didn't know it was gonna be this big, but that's good. This is the other bag we normally get. Okay, okay, girls. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I typically do most of my editing in the mornings because I get progressively more tired throughout the day, so. Hey, you. She's everyone, so, everyone's making noises. She's jumping on her bag of food. So I'm gonna edit the podcast that we just recorded, and then I did make a to-do list for the rest of the day, but I'm gonna focus on this and then once we get this done, we can work on everything else. You gonna help me work? Okay, I just finished the podcast. I just uploaded it and scheduled it for Saturday and don't mind what I'm wearing. I literally do not care i just got this tank top from urban outfitters it's like the best a tank top is not just a tank top like it has to be good anyways i'll link it down below i'm gonna go to cvs and pick up my prescription i have a really itchy scalp in case you guys don't know i talk about it a lot but i like constantly itch and scab and like pull my scabs off of my scalp which is great so my mom prescribed me some type of shampoo or something. So I'm going to go pick that up and then I want to get a Starbucks. And then I need to get, I love, okay, I, Vinny, don't judge me. I really like having this shirt because it, I just throw it on over everything, but I don't love that it's blue. So I'm going to be looking for something in the same material and shape, but just not blue, maybe like beige or white, but not like linen. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, it's raining and I didn't know how to turn on his wipers. So I was driving blind for a second there, but I figured it out. I survived guys. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm not a big Starbucks girl, you guys know. I don't go to Starbucks often, but when it's pumpkin season, oh my gosh. I will put my order on the screen because I get the, sh I don't get the pumpkin spice latte or the pumpkin spice cold brew. I don't like Starbucks coffee. I only like their espresso. So I get the iced shaken espresso grande. Today I did the two thirds decaf shots. If you didn't know, you can get your espresso shots decaf, a third decaf, two thirds decaf. It's amazing. So I got two thirds decaf because it's my second coffee of the day. No classic syrup, three pumps of pumpkin, and I got whole milk today because I just wanted, I wanted the full experience. And everyone's talking about how oat milk is bad for you, so whatever. Whole milk it is. And extra ice, except they always fail to put extra ice. This is happiness in a cup. I am so excited for fall and Christmas and I Oh, I'm just I'm just so excited. I don't think I've ever been so excited for fall, but this is the perfect perfect kickoff to fall I'm gonna try it Okay mm. I love pumpkin I love pumpkin Okay, 
I just received some supplements in the mail that I want to show you. First of all, let me show you the prescriptions that I got. So I told you I have itchy scalp like constantly, mostly in the on the bottom of my head. So my mom prescribed me, I don't know how to say it, ketoconazole shampoo and clobetazole solution. So I'm supposed to wash with this three times a week and then I guess put this on the area. It was only $10 each with my insurance. So I'm happy about that because sometimes you just never know which medications are going to be covered. So finally taking care of this. And then I also picked up some Mucinex, um, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I ordered some fertility supplements from Thorn. I will be talking about fertility for the next little bit. So if you're not interested, scoot on by. Someone that I trust medically and personally recommended this brand. A great supplement brand. One of those like more holistic, um, a little bit more pricey, but when it comes to supplements, I think that it's better to pay a little bit extra to get the real deal. This is not sponsored at all by them. I ordered a couple of things. The first one is just this basic prenatal. It's got 90 capsules and it's three capsules a day. You see one a screenshot. This is everything that's in it. I've also realized that with the more holistic, I don't want to, I don't know if holistic is the right word, but the, the supplement companies that claim to be better than the others, they have more capsules per serving. And I don't know why that is, but it's just a key indicator. So this one is three and the one that I have right now is one. So yeah, this was like $10 for this whole thing. And this, I think it was like $30 or something. So just that's something that I've noticed with the fancier supplements. And then CoQ10, I don't know if I'm saying this correct, but this, I don't know anything about any of this, but this is supposed to help with the cell membranes and just help promote healthy eggs and whatnot. Oh, I got two of those. Yes, we're both supposed to be taking this one. So I got two of these. This is a one month supply. And then I also ordered zinc. This is just for AJ. And then I'm also taking fish oil. This is just for omega-3 and DHA. She also recommended a few other ones, but I am starting with these and I'm excited. I, I really don't think this is doing much. And then this, I think I touched on this in my last video, but Mucinex is a decongestant and it helps to thin the different fluids in our body. So it, in theory, is conducive for healthy happening. You know what I'm talking about. I am challenging myself to continue to be open uh, in this journey, but I do ask that if you feel the need to comment that it'll happen when I least expect it Just refrain from commenting that because people who are trying to conceive are always expecting it um, There's not one day that goes by where we're not thinking about it So that's not a helpful comment But I do appreciate 99.9% .9 of the comments that are helpful and giving tips like I genuinely enjoy reading your tips I don't feel overwhelmed by it at least at this point. So thank you to everyone who's been so supportive and positive it's only been month five, so I'm not freaking out yet, but I'm just like starting to look more into supplements and like what are some natural things that I can do to maybe help this go by a little bit quicker. You know what I mean? I'm back on my tracking game, taking my temperature every morning. I'm doing the ovulation test. I can actually show you that because I'm actually ovulating as we speak. This is an ovulation test. And when this line is as dark or darker than the control line, that means you are ovulating. So I've been having a positive ovulation. This was yesterday morning, yesterday night, and this morning. And I just buy these cheap ones from Amazon. It just comes in a huge pack. This is what I did a couple cycles ago. This is cycle number two. I wrote them down. I just taped them here. So as you can see on this day, this was my peak cycle day 18. I also had a fever. See how that line is the darkest line. That was my peak day. And then it just starts getting lighter and lighter, but I stopped testing. I am not really stressed about it. I'm a little bit anxious this month for some reason. Normally I'm like pretty cool, even keeled about it, but yeah, don't, uh, don't tell me to relax because that's not helpful either. I'm pretty relaxed. Don't come at me. Okay. Last thing I will say is that it's getting really hard to avoid pregnancy content like especially on TikTok which I shouldn't be scrolling on TikTok anyway but I do so when I'm on TikTok and I scroll and I see something about a pregnant woman or here's what you should do if you're pregnant or whatever or foods you should avoid I always skip past because I don't want to infiltrate my mind with pregnancy content until I actually am pregnant you know what I mean like right now I just want to focus on life before pregnancy and like tips on getting pregnant and then once I actually am successful in that then I can consume pregnancy content but it, it's not good for me to like immerse myself in that content and then like not be 
at that stage in life you know what i mean so that's getting a little bit weirder now that time is passing and i'm like okay like what's happening but again it's chill i'm chill it's all good i'm just sharing to be open because i know a lot of you guys really appreciate me sharing so thank you for listening i'm going to cook some lunch okay guys i just made some lunch we made hello fresh pork tostadas today this is one of the easiest and most tasty quick recipes from hello fresh that we love and i do have the privilege of working with them in today's video you guys know i am working on getting better in the kitchen so hello fresh really comes in handy especially on days like this where i want to make a quick and easy meal for lunch so basically hello fresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients straight to your door and it comes in a package with an ice pack so if you're not home or whatever the case is it stays fresh for multiple hours if you have kids you can cozy up with some delicious sweets and get the whole family involved with hellofresh's limited edition kid-friendly baking kits getting back into the fall season can be busy but weeknights can be made so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes that are ready in just 30 minutes we get the four person serving and we just have leftovers so it's really good for lunches since aj works from home or even having dinner the next day plus in partnership with plastic bank hellofresh prevents 10 million bottles from entering the ocean every single year. I think I've been using HelloFresh for almost a year, if not longer, and I pay for my own subscription, so I get a delivery almost every single week, and it's truly just a lifesaver, so I don't have to think about every single night what I'm gonna cook. It's just ready, it's there for me, the instructions are on the card, the ingredients are there, I don't have to shop for them, and it's just such a lifesaver. They have so many different menu items, so you get to choose exactly what meals you're getting that week. So go to HelloFresh com and use code rachelvin16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts once again that's hellofresh.com code rachelvin16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like throwing up. I should not have worked out right after eating, but. Can we, can we write down the number of times? That you watch the dishes when I'm vlogging? No, that I say something and you completely disagree, and we find out later that it's true. Like, like what? I was like, babe, you're gonna really eat right before you do legs? Oh, yeah, he did say that. And you're like, oh. No, normally, normally, I don't have a problem eating right before I work out, so historically, it's been fine. But um, just did legs. You guys know my leg day routine. I just do squats, lunges, a little bit of deadlifts. Really boring. But I'm gonna take a shower and get ready to go to the mall. Okay, I am ready. If anybody knows of a good lip product that gives a little bit of color, I really need one. But I don't wanna wear lipstick or anything like glossy. I just want like something to apply to just give me a little bit more life. I'm like, guys, do my job for me. Tell, tell me the product and I will tell you back about it. Okay, we're gonna go to the mall and look for some clothes, mainly for AJ. He just needs like a closet refresh. Are you cleaning your shoes? With glass cleaner, glass top cleaner. Okay, I changed into my white Urban Outfitters tank top and the same shirt. Vinny's feeder just went off. My Topshop jean shorts, I'll link everything. This has just been like my go-to setup. Like I said, I wanna get another one of these in a different color so that I'm not always wearing this blue one, but minimalism, right? And then I have this. Even though I am not putting anything in here, I'm not bringing my camera, I'll just log on my phone while we're in the mall. I just feel like it adds something to the look because without this, it kind of like, it doesn't have anything that grounds it, you know what I mean? Me just being a fashion influencer. And I'm gonna wear these just because they're more comfortable and we usually walk like 10,000 steps in the mall. Let's go find AJ some clothes. AJ got a whole new outfit, shoes, jeans from Abercrombie. He got white vans. He got that Zara t-shirt. 
Girl. I can't wait until I try on. Well, oh my gosh, you look so cute. He's embarrassed. No, yeah, please don't. That's that's weird for me. I like it. <laughs> uh, we never go shopping strictly for him, so this is really nice. He doesn't ever get new clothes. As you guys see, he just wears Under Armour. Well, I get, I get new clothes, but I get, like, casual. Casual, yeah, but, like, you've never had, like, a nice casual outfit, you know? It's either, no, like... This is, this is nice, It's actually. either, like, gym wear or, like, suit. Those are the night. He got the 90s slim straight. No, you're not returning them. You're not returning them. Maybe I won't return them, but if I don't wear them? You're gonna wear them. Okay, you look really cool. All right, so this shirt I picked out, I think it's so cool. I like the material, it's like a silky. Zara Men, I just really think it's cute, especially for the cruise. Like, come on. Okay guys, I'm going to watch The Glass Castle on Apple TV. It's based on the book that I just finished reading, so I'm excited to watch it. Okay, it is 5.30 p.m. We just finished the work day, I look dead. But we have two interviews, one at, should be right now at 5.30, but she's late. And then another one at 6 for a second receptionist because we have currently one receptionist and then me. But we really need two full-time receptionists so that I can focus on like marketing and business growth. So let's see if the second one shows up. I hope that they're good. Everybody left. We're just waiting. Rooms are clean. Lights off. I refilled the coffee bar. I've taken that on myself to make sure we always have enough water in the tank because you'd be surprised how often patients make coffee, like pretty often, which is good because that's what we want. We want them to feel at home, feel welcome. So yeah. No, I'm telling them about our goodie bags. Should I call her? Why is she not here? No, if she didn't show up and she didn't call, then don't even bother. I'm calling. Okay. <laughs> This is where we keep all of our stuff, of our stash. This is how I make the goodie bags. I take some of these bags. I just ordered these off of Amazon. And I just, I literally grab like one of each and I put them in. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, let me call you right now. She says that it's a video chat. It's not in person, which I knew that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was telling the vlog that I was disappointed in her. Okay, so Is this allowed? <laughs> I'm new. No, 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 I want you to I want you to picture. You know how cute we are. Hi, how are you? Good morning guys. It's two days later. I always end up rolling over my vlogs to the next day. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this day of my life plus a little bit of the next day. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out HelloFresh. Everything will be linked down below. Get your hands on that discount. I also have an Instagram and a podcast if you want to follow me there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.